What's up guys, Jebber Gaming Jaws here coming to you. Wanted to talk to you guys about my experience going to too many games uh, in Oaks, Pennsylvania, right over by Philly. Um, the convention has been going on for a couple years and I've really wanted to go. Two years ago, I learned about it as it was happening. The next year, it was super poor planning and I happened to be on vacation in northern Pennsylvania at the time that it was going on and that was a bummer and it had been planned with other people so I couldn't cancel it but this year um, I finally got to go I only went for one day sadly but um, it, this year it was kind of just like scoping it out to see how it is and next year I think I'm definitely gonna be going for a longer period of time I had a freaking awesome experience my wife went along with me, so it was me and her. Um, we got there at about 11 o'clock on Sunday, which was the last day of the convention. Um, so probably the highlight for me was that I got to meet some YouTubers that I've really wanted to meet for a long time and had a really good time just getting to talk to some of them. And um, so within about 10 minutes of getting there, like I'm just kind of taking everything in. There's just you know tons of booths set up selling things. There are arcade machines everywhere. There's like old PVMs set up with consoles, <sighs> you know, there are cosplayers walking around, um, just so much, just like gaming goodness, just hitting me from all sides. Um, so first thing we had to do is like walk to the bathroom. So the bathroom was like in the back. So we went there and, uh, so then it was like, all right, so we've kind of like gotten our first lay of the land. Um, and then literally within 15 minutes of being at the convention, um, all of a sudden Adam Corlett comes walking up and I was like, oh my God, Adam, you know, and, uh, he was like, uh, yeah, you know, didn't recognize me. Of course, why would he, <laughs> you know, we've only, I've only like commented on things a little bit and we messaged just briefly before that, but, um, he did recognize me just from our brief messages before. And it was so much fun. He was just as nice in person as I ever thought that he would be. And, you know, we got to talk for about maybe a good 10 or 15 minutes, just about, you know, a few things. And I, Got to express my appreciation for his channel and just all the awesome stuff that he does for Shenmue. And, um, it was just a really, really good time. Um, and so that, that was just excellent. Like, I was just, I was on cloud nine, honestly, like from that point on. So then I um, walked over. Adam was actually like, oh, is there anybody else that you want to meet? So I was like, yeah, I'd like to meet Pat. And he's like, well, Pat's right over there and points like right at him. I'm like, oh my gosh, Pat's like right next to me, <laughs> basically. And then um, I said, yeah, I'd like to meet Jay from the Game Chasers. And uh, he kind of pointed in the direction of the other side of the convention where Jay had been hanging out. Um, so right after that, I went over, got to meet Pat. Um, that was a good experience. Like he seemed really tired, maybe. Um, you know, and I was just like freaking high and giddy, you know, they had all been there Friday, Saturday, this was Sunday, their last day, I'm sure that they were all kind of burned out on being there and I'm sure meeting fans, you know, but whatever, I got a picture with them. Oh yeah, I got a picture with Adam. That was awesome. Um, so then we start making the rounds again and then suddenly like I look to my left and I see Boogie2988 doing a panel. So I'm like, oh my gosh, Boogie's doing a panel. So I run over there. My wife's like, you know, left in the dust. <laughs> I kept looking back. It's like every man for himself. There's Boogie. I got to get to him. No, she was great. She came up to, we both sat down, listened to Boogie, um, do a live panel. Got to wait in line after that and meet him. Uh, got a picture. That was cool. Super nice, super friendly in person. Um, so then, you know, this whole time I'm just like, I'm just blown away. Um, so we start walking around. I'm looking for Jay, you know, cause I really wanted to meet Jay. I knew Billy wasn't going to be there, which was a bummer, but you know, understandable. He's busy and has things to do in the game chasers movie. So whatever. Um, but I knew Jay was there. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I really want to meet Jay. But I kept on looking around. I couldn't find him. He just wasn't in the area that, um, I had heard he was going to be in. And, um, it was probably another couple hours. I ended up going to another panel of Some Call Me Johnny. That was really awesome to get to see him up close and in person. Um, got to watch a video that's not going to be out for months um, where he did a review on Kirby, a uh, Kirby game. Um, so that was just super fun. Um, finally, um, I was looking for Pat's panel because Pat had a panel that was supposed to be going on at 3 o'clock. So... Um, I'm looking around, I'm asking people where it is, it's not at the stage that I thought it was going to be at, 
Um, so as we're walking to where we think the new stage is, suddenly I just like look up and oh my gosh, there's Jay from the Game Chasers sitting at a table there, you know, just on his phone. Um, so, you know, it's always like funny to like walk up to people and be like, hey, uh, you know, but I walked up and Jay was just freaking awesome. Like instantly he just like jumped up. He came over, big smile, super friendly, super nice guy, like incredible to meet him in person you know I, I oh my gosh like the game chasers mean so much to me you know like i have freaking loved their channel for so long uh, like again guys like if you're if you're not subscribed to adam korlick the game chasers um pat the nes punk you know absolutely do so it was it was just awesome so that was my experience after after meeting Jay because like we talked for maybe a good 10 minutes or so I got a picture um, you know got to talk about them selling off their collection to kind of support the movie and ask them about the movie and you know just just my normal things that I was curious about it was just so much fun so awesome um, so anyways uh, shook his hand said goodbye um, and after that, at that point, I was just so maxed out. I was like, I just have to leave. Like, this has already been so good that I just can't even take it anymore. So um, I didn't buy any games or anything. I got a little Fallout decal for the back of my car, which is really cool. And I got a little, um, like, bead art kind of thing of Chrono from Chrono Trigger. But, oh my gosh. Yeah. Too Many Games was super, super fun. Next year, I'd love to do, like, two or three days of it. Um, I'd like to go with a lot of money to buy some games and stuff. Um, such a blast. So cool meeting those guys. Um, such nice guys. Just, you know, it just felt very normal. It just felt like talking to somebody who's also passionate about video games. You know, it was really, really awesome. So I wanted to share my experience of going to too many games and how much fun I had there. Uh, I've got some more videos coming soon, so, uh, stay tuned. All right. Peace out.